to Lethal Hammer's channel and LethalPC.com. wanted to create a video today just showing you guys the different kinds of water cooling connections you can use and all the different elbows and compression fittings and barbs and 90 degree rotary elbows and showing you guys kind of all those different things so the names uh, of things don't scare you and so there's a better understanding of what you're looking at when you go to a lot of these retail sites and trying to figure out how you want to set up your water loop and stuff. So just going straight into it, uh, we'll jump into the individual fittings. So here, this is your typical barb fitting. This is a 3 8 inch barb. Barb, you'll see that the perforated edges, you know, the tube goes over it, holds it on there. Most people, when they use a barb, they will use a clamp or, um, you know, a metal C clamp. Here, I'll show you some of those. I should have had these ready. But like a, a plastic uh, clip or a metal one with a screw to tighten the tube around that so it doesn't loosen over time. Uh, usually on barbs, like I use, I love uh, Bites Power barbs because the bar, this actually isn't a Bites Power piece, uh, but I do have one right here. Here's a, here's a bigger one, but I like how these barbs are a little bit bigger. Um, most of the time I never put clamps on there unless the, the tubing is at a, an awkward angle where it looks like it might be pulling away on the edge. Um, I would recommend using it if you're you're worried about any sort of leaks or anything like that, but um, that's your barb fitting. Uh, next up is your typical compression fitting. So here we have a half inch to three quarter inch compression fitting. What happens is, is your tube slides right onto there. So it's over the, the nub. You slide the sleeve back over and tighten that down. And what that does is it tightens down around the the tube on the outside. So it's kind of like a built-in uh, it's a built-in clamp for the most part. I like compression fittings the best. I think they're the best fitting you can get. Uh, the only problem is, is in some small cases and stuff like that it can get really difficult to get to these to tighten them properly. Um, most times they don't have to be tightened too tight, but you know, tighten them properly is definitely something you want to be aware of. Um, other fittings you'll see in cases, just kind of going over things like trying to get around tight corners. Sorry, this is a 90 degree rotary, so the actual angle rotates. This is really handy to have over just your standard angle, so you'll see a 90 degree in a 90 degree rotary. The difference is obviously is this rotates. So once you tighten it you don't have to worry about the angle being stuck at a certain location and then you're completely screwed. There's been many times where I just can't get a regular corner turn to line up how I want it and wish I had one of these available. I would always recommend getting the rotary. Again, uh, Bites Power makes them really nice. I've never had any leaks or any issues with the rotary fittings. Um, but there's your difference between a regular 90 and a 90 rotary. Rotary. <laughs> rotary. Also, you have your hard angles. Same same difference. They do make these in a rotary form. I don't have one available right here, but um, you know, the rotary comes in handy because you can angle it however you want. While this one, you screw it in, you're kind of stuck with wherever it angles down at. Some people will use. Uh, like plumbing tape and then that way they can unloose it a little bit so it's not going to leak but I never recommend that. Also for the bigger side you have a compression rotary. So here's a regular rotary. You'll see it's threaded so you can put like a, a barb fitting on there. Um, or you can go the option that has a rotary compression. This is a solid piece. Uh, it rotates obviously at the joint below. And it's a compression fitting. This is also a half inch to three quarter inch compression. Um, I like these fittings the most. One, because the rotary, and two, they're compression. So it lines up. They are a little bit more expensive. I think they're eight to nine bucks per, so I can add up a lot real quick. But again, there's reasons to like those over others. Um, <clears throat> sometimes you'll find yourselves in situations where like a compression fitting might not fit because of my 
a compression fitting might not fit because it will hit like the PCB of a graphics card. Um, in most cases, that's when you start getting into like extenders. So you screw this into the graphics card so it extends the connection above the PCB. Uh, they come in all sorts of different sizes. You'll see here. You know, these are just standard extensions. Uh, they do make them really long, tall, small, short. Um, extenders are your friend, especially when it comes to graphic cards or sometimes those sharp angles. Uh, you just need it to extend out a little bit more to eliminate the angle. Another one is quick disconnects. This has kind of become a, a very popular item in PCs as of late. Um, what it is, it's just a quick disconnect. It does slow down the flow a little bit. As much as they claim it doesn't, it does. Um, these are awesome to have in your system if you have a really good pump. Like if you have a 6, what the big uh, 650 or 655, whatever number it is. Have a couple of these and that way if you ever need to take apart your system or remove a component from the loop, uh, you can literally just, you know, depending on how you have your loop set up, you can put one of these quick disconnects or even a couple in line and easily remove stuff from your system without having to do a full drain. Some people love that. Um, they're pretty big, obviously. You'll see from a normal compression fitting to how long this is. Uh, so if you have a big case, it can make sense. Or if you're using a, like, a da or like a Danger Dead big case or Mountain Mods. Uh, and the, some of the smaller cases that most people have, and they're just putting one loop in there, might not make sense just because it takes up so much space. And it's kind of an eyesore. Other items. You know... Um, you have your standard T, they make, you know, this is a metal one, and then they have the acrylic ones. Um, the acrylic ones can crack over time. I haven't had any issues, but I've read lots of stories of people having problems with acrylics. So if you don't want to light acrylic, you can go directly with stainless steel. Uh, again, both bites power, both great products. Yeah, I've never had issues with the acrylics, but some people have. Uh, they make these in L's, T's, four ways. All sorts of different ones but these come in handy in a lot of ways um, you know I use T's uh, this acrylic one is a T and this is like a, a standard inline temp sensor and what you could do is you could just screw it in the top of your T here and then have your line coming off you know this way so you have your temp sensor so you can re see how hot or cool your your fluid is in your loop sometimes I'll use a four-way and that way I can have a temp sensor off one side, you know, my flow going through left to right, and then on the bottom I'll have a T-line coming out or a drain line, anything like that. So all sorts of cool things that you could do with T's and stuff like that. Uh, temp sensors are always great, especially if you have a fan controller. Uh, you'll see uh, on the Scythe fan controller that we're, we're using in our system, it has uh, temp sensor controllers on it. So, you know, these Bytes Power temp sensors plug right into there. Works great. Um, other connections that you might see, uh, this is a coolant um, SLI connection. Uh, it expands, so if you have like a four slot, three slot, or two slot, you know, you can go with a fitting like this. Um, one thing you'll notice right off the get-go, I don't know if you can see that, but the circular flow tube on this is actually wider than the one on this SLI fitting. So usually I'll use um, either barb fittings or compression fittings with a tube. Um, or if you just like the aesthetic looks of this, you can use these. Or they also have the compression style. So you'll see here, there's two ends with a... Oh, sorry, drop that. Two ends with a clear... This is actually plastic. What you do is you slide this plastic in right into one of those compression ends, slide it into the other, and uh, there you go. You have a bridge just like this, and it's see-through. If you have, if you're using colored fluid, you know these come in handy. They look really cool in your system. Uh, most often, these acrylic pieces come in a three-pack, so you get a one, a two, and a three-space distance. Um, but I mean, these are kind of neat, so some people like these, but those are out there as well. Um, and that's about it for compression, I mean, or for compression fittings. Sometimes they do make fittings like this, again, like this plastic tube went into, but instead you actually have, like, your regular tubing and it slides right into there. 
Some people in water cooling like to use those. I am not a big fan of those whatsoever. Um, but again, that's another option you can use. So, um, there's your fittings. Quite a few of them. There's a lot of them I don't own. So, just wanted to go over some of the basic ones. But, you know, again, when you're installing fittings into your system, it's always good to plan ahead of time before you buy them, of course. But again, I always use, I always use a, uh, a little wrench and I make sure everything's nice and tight, you know, so that way you don't have to worry about leaks. I mean, another thing that you always want to check is check the O-ring, make sure it's in good quality and it's not all dried out. Uh, you can go to your local hardware store and pick up new ones if they are. Um, but yeah. There you go. Appreciate you watching Lethal Hammer's channel. Again, check out lethalpc.com. And if you didn't know, we are giving away that XAI Silver or Steel Series mouse. So check out that video on our channel and make sure to leave a comment in the thread for your chance to win.